Hey, what's going on guys? It is Boost HD here and I've had a few requests to do some ICT related podcasts. So last year I did, oh, I did start with Info 1 but didn't quite get to the end of it. So now I'm going to go ahead and jump in on to Info 2, trying to get through each topic as and when it arrives. So the whole topic of Info 2 is living in the, in the digital world and the very first topic is an ICT system and its components. And this whole specification is going to be for the ASAQA exam. So the very first topic is an ICT system and its components. So my very first question is, what is ICT? So ICT stands for Information Communication Technology. And ICT isn't just looking at the physical computer. It is looking at the aspects within the computer, such as the software, such as database and spreadsheets, and external devices as well, such as printers and scanners. So when we're looking at what is a system, a system is anything that contains an input process and output. So the input can be anything from entering data or typing in data from the user. The process is what takes place on the actual data itself and the output is what is produced. So this brings us to the question of what is an ICT system. So if I was to give you an example of what an ICT system is, I would, I would personally use a, a, a cash point or as the Americans call it an ATM. So the input would be the person inserting their credit card or debit card into the reader and the process is kind of hidden away since you, the user doesn't see what actually takes place but it's actually called a transaction process, this happens automatically and then when the user enters in their PIN all the details are checked and the output may be uh, the cash or it could be an unslip or on paper balance. Another example of a ICT related system is e-commerce. So websites such as eBay, Amazon, when the user clicks a product they want to select or go and buy or add to their wish list, uh, when they go and pay for that project, the person will enter in their credit card details. So that would be the input. The process would be again like similar to the ATM. It would be checking all the person's card information, their card details, and the output. They may receive a message on the screen saying that your order has been purchased or the transaction is completed or something along those lines. So what do all ICT systems have in common? Well, they all contain input, process and output and they're all related to ICT in some way, shape or form. ICT systems also contain six components. These are people who need to supply the data and make the final decisions and judgments. You have the data, which is the raw unprocessed material. You have the procedures which determine what needs to be done, how it needs to be done and when it needs to be done. You have the hardware, which is the physical components of the ICT system, such as the mouse and the keyboard. You have the software, which provides a step-by-step -step instruction list of what needs to be done. You also have the information, which is the overall result of the process data. The best way to remember these is to do what I do. I try and group all of the words together. So I group people with procedures, data with information, and hardware with software. So the, the main exam question actually comes from this topic is mainly listing the components, or at least giving a short description of each component. This is the, really the main question that's seen across the exam paper. So if you really wanted to revise something in depth, make sure it is the components of an ICT system. So now you guys, it's been Boost HD here. I'll see you in the next topic and bye for now. Thank you for listening.